Now Matt was getting a code for a rear ABS sensor, so before you get back here and you start tearing stuff apart, do yourself a favor, take a minute and do a visual inspection real quick. First thing, look at the obvious. If you've got a mismatched tire or real low tire pressure, that could give you a false code. That's not the case right here, but it's something to look for. The other thing you want to do is check the wiring going to that ABS sensor. You want to trace it along the frame rail here. See if you've got a situation, you've got a crimp wire or one that's been pinched or chafed or rubbed through. It could be grounding out on the chassis. That's not a good thing, and that could be the problem right there. Once again, not the scenario here, so we're going to dig a little deeper. What you do is unplug this sensor, and you'll read, uh, read the ohms of that sensor and check for resistance. Now, the way this whole system works with an ABS sensor, and this truck for one, is it's got one for that whole back axle. Now, some vehicles have them independently left and right. This one is just reading off of the drive shaft. What it's doing is there's a tone ring inside the ring and pinion, and this uh, magnetic sensor, what it's doing is counting the teeth going around and how fast they're going, giving you an idea of when you lock up the rear brakes here, it'll sense it, send a code up to the computer and tell you to get your foot off the brake pedal by pulsing that brake pedal. So that ABS sensor is doing the work for you. Now the way you check to see if it's working is, once again, you want to check the resistance through that sensor. So what we'll do is look for a reading that's above 2500 ohms. If it is, we know the sensor is bad. You know, it's the sensor and not the circuit. That's exactly what the scenario is here. So at this point, all you have to do is replace the sensor. It's pretty easy to do. You grab yourself a new one from Delphi. They're great because these things are 100% tested to the most extreme conditions. And these contacts right here, they are plated to avoid corrosion and will help these things last for a long period of time. So you put one Delphi sensor in, you don't have to worry about it ever again. Out of the way.